Well, today, Nest launched its first product since the Google acquisition, the Nest Cam, an HD home camera, as well as a refresh of the entire product line. I spoke with CEO and founder Tony Fidel about the new camera. It took a major team uh, at Nest. We have hundreds of employees now working together to pull this off. It's really hard to do, you know, to, to scale a business. You can see a large business doing it with 10,000 people, but we have less than 1,000 employees, and we're, we're working incredibly hard to make this happen. The new Nest Cam, what's better about the it? The new Nest Cam is the best of drop cam combined with Nest. We put all of the drop cams under one app in Nest, and we've made a versatile stand you can put anywhere, even on your refrigerator with a magnet. So to us, we have also put in high quality video, 1080p, so you get crisp clarity. Now, how did you make the decision to get rid of the drop cam name, and can you still buy drop cams? We wanted it to be simpler for our customers to understand everything was under the Nest umbrella. So if they saw Nest products and then a Nest drop cam, we wanted to make it really simple. So that's we dropped the drop, and now it's called Nest Cam. How many of these products, all three products, are you selling? We are selling all three products today, uh, and we are selling them in seven countries. They're used in over 190 um, countries by our customers there, and we're selling in the millions. So we're really happy with what, where we've come in just five years. Selling in the millions of all three? Uh, we're selling in the millions of combined. What are you doing to encourage adoption? Well, interestingly enough, we have partners, energy partners, the utility companies, as well as now insurance companies, who are giving away free Nest thermostats or Nest Protects or highly discounting them because they know that they can save energy for their customers as well as get them, in the case of the thermostat, to actually have to generate less power. So they want to give these things away so that they can have actually more efficient operations. So, and the same thing goes with home insurance providers. They want to give you the best rates possible and when a Nest Protect is connected to your insurance, they can give you a better rate. So all of these things are helping to drive down the cost of a Nest product to get into different homes of all demographics. How difficult was it to work with the insurance companies? I mean, that's Actually, a pretty big deal. Well, you know, most companies have, insurance companies have embraced the, embraced the internet age, and they've decided that, you know, they made it connected cars for cheaper mm -hmm. insurance. Connected homes was just the next step. So they were already forward thinking. How deeply involved have you been in the rollout of all of these products? So, you know, I, I, we have a great team, uh, and they come up with really creative ideas. So I'm kind of like the editor. I go in, but I look at every screen of the app. I go and look at all the curvatures of the of the, the plastics or how a button works or how it sounds. So I'm definitely intimately involved in the details. But the team does a great job, and I only have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there. How does this help you better compete with Apple, with Samsung? Well, Apple's a great partner, right? Apple, many of our customers use Apple products to, mm -hmm. to talk to our things. So if... And and we're working with Apple on all kinds of other areas. We're in Apple stores today. So, but when we look at what something... What other areas? I can't mention it right now. <laughs> but with uh, Samsung, you know, if you look at it, they have smart things. And that is a platform. But it's a hub platform. You have to buy a hub and a whole set of gear and you have to program it. We don't think that's the right way to do it. We want to simply have our, our products work together, either a single product or multiple products work together with third parties in your home with no programming. Um, and, and anyone can install it. Apple is certainly taking great steps to own the connected home, HomeKit. What do you think of HomeKit? Well, I think HomeKit is yet another uh, platform, and we're looking and in, investigating and working together with them on that. So where else could you see Nest expanding? The connected home is now your thing. Where else well, I, should I, we expect to see I Nest think there are Nest many products. other unloved products in the home, and you have to wait to see what we're going to do. Now you are part of Google. Tell us how the integration process has been. How has it been for the company to adapt and for you to adapt. So, so the, it's been a year, about a year and a half now, and it's been great. I couldn't be more impressed by the team and by their ability to allow us to run autonomously and do all, do what we want to do, but get the best of Google resources to, 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 to bring to bear, to help us put on an event like, like today, as well as technologies to help infuse um, what we do. Google obviously has its own ambitions in the Internet of Things market. They just released this operating system for the Internet of Things, Brillo. Yes, and we're working together with so how does that work together so so we just we have a lot more to talk about in the coming months but we have two specific um, 
the technologies Brillo and Weave. Brillo is an operating system to make it easier to create these connected devices, and Weave to make each of the devices communicate both together and to the cloud. And so we created Weave inside of Nest, and we are now working with Google to bring that out to all kinds of different products, and they're working on Brillo to then work with us to get it inside of Nest as well. So it's, it's a great cross-company collaboration to help speed along the Internet of Things coming to your house. And you're now owning Google hardware. What is the next iteration of Google hardware? Uh, I am not owning Google <laughs> hardware. <laughs> there are many great people doing hardware inside the company. I'm simply doing Nest, and I also have a, a Google Glass responsibility, which we're really not talking about today. So now you've launched these products. How difficult is it now to ship them? Well, we're already in production on mm -hmm. the products. Now it's just a matter of getting them from the production facility into the retailers. And, and already our software shipping today the Nest Cam's available for purchase. Uh, the Protect will be available in just two or three weeks in the, in the stores. So we have done basically our job. Now what we do is sit by and wait for customers' uh, thoughts and, and, and comments, and we try to make them even better when, when we hear from them. So where's Nest two years from now? Two years from now? Wow. I hope we're in more countries. Um, I hope we're in more product categories and have more developers. So. But it's still a long, hard road. Even after five years, we still have a lot more to do. And where do you see the Internet of Things market going in general? We're expecting it to explode, but where do you see it? Well, going? I think it's infusing into everyday products you already have. Uh -huh. So, you know, it may not be like new categories like smartwatches or smartphones. Uh -huh. It's going to be in electrical plugs that you already buy today or electrical uh -huh. switches or your refrigerator. Uh -huh. So my hope is that we're going to see it in all of the products we already buy. It's going to be behind the scenes and, and are it's going to make it really easy to Are you as up. optimistic about wearables as you are about non-wearables? I think there are a lot of great reasons for wearables. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of great reasons for the Internet of Things inside of a home. Um, but you ha they have to bring specific purpose, a really defined reason for why they should exist so people can, you know, put them in their lives. And then they will adapt and change after over time.